Stevenson gets the 37. Let's try it again. Three, two, one. Stevenson gets the 36-7 win over Lebanon Valley here today at Mustang Stadium. Glenn Clark with Stevenson coach Ed Hoddle. Coach, uh, pretty impressive performance on all sides of the ball, save for a couple of issues that I'm sure you'll be happy to point out for me in this conversation. But I would think that uh, offense, defense, you're pretty pleased with the effort you got from both sides. Yeah, I think um, you know we had a special teams touchdown today. We had a special teams turnover today. Um, we were able to move the ball efficiently on offense and, and consistently um, you know, shut their offense down. And, and from my perspective, that, that's what you want. And, you know, like you said, there, there are some things that we've got to clean up. We you know, had the block punt, um, missed, a, missed an extra point, um, clean up on special teams. And I'm sure as we get into the offense and defensive film that there'll be things to, to work to improve on. But, you know, on a whole, you know, coming off the week that we had last week, um, you know, I'm very proud of the football team, proud of the guys. Um, you know, it's, it, it, they're a team. And that's the, that's the exciting thing is they're, they're playing together. And, um, you know, I think it shows. Coach, in the build-up to our broadcast, we had talked about, you know, a, a tough loss last week and then some of the guys that you had lost in, in the last seven days as well and, and where emotionally your team was going to be. And I guess, you know, sort of right at the beginning of this game, forcing the fumble, they came out and they kind of proved emotionally they're, they're just fine, that nothing is something that they've been dwelling on. Well, for us, it, it, you know, in the MAC, you've got to bring it every week. You know, it, it, it doesn't matter who you play. Um, you know, a loss will affect – you know, the outcome of the conference or potentially affect that outcome. So for us, you know, it, it, it is a consistent approach. Every week is a big ball game. And I think our guys, you know, really rallied and answered answered the bell today, you know, after, you know, again, it was a long week, I think, for everybody. And um, but I could tell you, know, you could tell in the locker room pregame that, that guys are ready to go. And, and I think that's that's the mark of a good football team. And we've still got a lot of football to play and a lot of opportunity to prove, you know, how good we can be. I don't, I don't think by any stretch we've played our best football yet. Um, but emotionally, I thought, you know, we answered the bell pretty well today. First start for Ty Crab. The interception before the half, I'm sure, is the one that, that you're going to want to talk to him about and work on. But outside of that, running the ball and throwing the ball, a whole lot of good that you saw from your quarterback. Yeah, he did a great job. He, um, you know, we obviously we, we changed the offense a little bit, you know, tailored a little bit more to his skill set. Um, you know, I think the thing that, that impressed me the most with his performance today was his maturity. You know, it never got – it never spiraled out of control for him. You know, the, he made mistakes, and, you know, I made mistakes today, and, and, and no, nobody let those mistakes really affect the next play or the next two or the next three plays. He was able to get it back in check, and, you know, I think that's something that he's going to continue to improve even more on. And, you know, we were talking as a staff during the week, and, you know, every snap he takes he's going to get better, and that's that's the best part. So, you know, him coming out today and, and managing, you know, what we were doing and, and, and you know, really showed some signs of, of significant maturity. And every time it seems like there's a running back who's sort of like seizing, I'm the guy here, there's another one who comes along and has a good day. It was Titus last week. It's Drexel this week. I, I guess this is what you would call a good problem to have. It is. You know, we don't have enough footballs. Um, <laughs> you know, the, the, they're all, they all have a little bit different skill set. And, you know, we're going to go with the fresh guy or we're going to go with the hot hand. And um, they work really, really well together. I think, you know, all three of them and, and, and the four that are in that position group that are kind of battling for time, you know, do a nice job pushing each other in practice. And I think we do uh, – Coach Larson does a nice job getting, you, you know, understanding what each one's strengths are and kind of playing to those strengths. So it is a good problem to have. And, you know, those guys are such good guys that – it's not an issue. You know, nobody's upset because I didn't get touches. And that's, you know, again, I think it's it's the mark of a good football team, not necessarily in a, you know, an ability perspective, but a, but a cohesive, you know, well put together team. Coach, congratulations on a big win today. Best of luck on the road next Saturday. Thanks very much. I appreciate it. He is Coach Ed Hoddle. I'm Glenn Clark for GoMustangSports.com.